All right, folks, we're going to start on a, another knife, the, the curved um, antler knife. And also on the bottom section is going to be a necker knife, a little small necker knife. So um, I'm going to be starting that today, so we'll get back to you. All right, there's the starting to cut it out and the other one cut out started sharpening it down here's them both together so this is going to have the curved deer antler and then the other one I'm not sure what I'm going to put on it but uh, it will surely be bitching, that's for sure. This will be nice with the curved deer antler on there. It's going to be bitching. And this one will have some either wood or deer antler. I'm gonna, i got to go look right now and see what I'm going to do with that. So we'll get back to this. Here's a little update of where I'm at. I got a, the angles going on here, and I just got to sharpen them up, and then I have to drill them and drill the handles and get those put on there. About to do some more sanding on on them too, some fine sanding to get it all cleaned up, and then uh, I have to go buy a new file for this the gut hook part because I, the only one I have is a really rough one but I've seen some at Walmart for uh, like a chainsaw one it's, it's, it was on clearance so I'm gonna go buy one of those probably tomorrow and there's my the necker knife do some more sanding on that get it all cleaned up shined up and sharp it's pretty sharp right now but we'll get it even more sharper and also this one I just ground started grounding today grinding today the angle and uh, I'll get that sanded and sharpened up and then I'll get the scales on there and drill it and whatnot. Alright, we'll get back to you. Got it uh, got it drilled out. I got these bolted together and I gotta grind the ends up and stuff and get it shaped up. I marked it with the pencil right there and right there. And then I'll get them bolted in um Glue in, and then after that, let it dry, and then we'll get back to you. I went out today and bought some uh, some new drill bits, and look at all these good curls I got from the sharp drill bit. I got, went and bought some of those um, cobalt drill bits to drill through this hard steel. It's pretty awesome. And then I'm gonna get the uh, the other knife right here. And I, I got these drilled out too. Got those bol uh, bolted up and taped. Because I had to uh, shave some of this bone. And then I have to mark where I had it. I thought I was going to leave that bottom. I think I might cut it off. It'll look better. But, so then, but now, right now, I just marked where I need to grind off here in the metal. I'll grind that a little bit off and then I'll. Then I'll get it glued together and then, then finish grinding the rest after it's all glued together so it'll fit up real nice together and also uh, I bought that new uh, file for the chainsaw file so this is getting better it's pretty sharp down there about to try that out on some cordage or something and also, uh, just finishing up, cleaning it up, and inside here and here, and then the edge as well. And then, then sanding, sanding, sand. That's all I gotta do. Keep on sanding, and then uh, polish too. After that, get it all polished up, and then uh, sand this and get that all polished up too. Oh, well, that's the update right there. So, all right. Well, that's what it'll look like when I get it. Uh, 
glue it in. So a lot, a lot of sanding. I gotta do a lot of sanding. If y'all can see that, that's gonna be bitching. All right, back at it. Well, here they are, folks. <coughs> this is my blade for the made from a uh, edger blade, lawnmower, or, uh, yeah, lawn edger, sidewalk edger blade. I just made it with the curve. Got me a uh, little gut hook in there. I, I must put some jimping right here. Maybe. Yeah, probably I'll probably do that. This is how it was when I cut it out, so uh this is leftover parts, so I was can make another knife with that. So this can be uh, my necker knife. And then we got a skinner. I got that all polished up for y'all. And this one I gotta uh, finish making the handle. I got some more antler I gotta cut it and but I have to buy some more epoxy so I, that's why I didn't finish that one but uh, it's sharp. It's all ready to go. <clears throat> this one's sharp too. Hope you like those, and I'm gonna make another, probably another one of these, maybe. And uh, maybe another straight one like the other, my other, with the wood handle. Uh, so I'll be some more videos of those when I make those. All right, thanks for watching.